I've just come back from my house and when I opened Facebook, the Rico Theta Z1 user group, great news from the Toyo Vegeta. He said he's right that the Rico Theta feature just got a huge upgrade. It must have done something really great that could upgrade the software version to the 2.20. Let's take a look at what he's told us in the thread. The three presets can be saved and you can specify the original DNA file manually. The Z1 newbies might be happy. And uh, judging from this photo, the picture, I already see a lot of great improvement in this Rico Theta feature. And I can't, just can't wait to give it a try. So I opened this website, and here you can see in the latest uh, version, November 26, overview of the additional functions and fixes. It is now possible to save up to three presets of all stitching parameters and apply them to different images. Uh, these parameters include the zenith correction, the front position adjustment, the stitching method, and the camera visibility reduction. Yeah, this is, these are all the features Toyo Fujita has been waited for just like forever, yeah. And I'm also very happy with the first upgrade. It is now possible to specify the original DNG file manually. Be careful, manually when it does not exist. So that means that everybody could stitch the Rico Theta D1 DNG file without any problems. Because once you will not, you will never come across with error anymore. You can just uh, manually specify the original DNG and set that stitching parameters and stitch your Theta Z1 images. Uh, that means we don't have to cheat on the Rico Theta feature anymore. Install the latest Rico Theta feature on my MacBook, and now I'm gonna take some test shot with the Z1. So I will take a couple of shot and uh, go back to the Rico Theta feature and into a workflow. I'm gonna try what has been changed. How does it feel when you work with the latest Rico Theta feature? Now I have just imported all the DNG files just capture with the Rico Theta Z1. Okay, the four DNG shot. And with the 2.20 Rico Theta feature, I'm gonna show you a brand new workflow and something has been changed. It just has better user experience. Here, go to the developer module. And uh, normally for demonstration purposes, I only select all of them to auto settings, uh, synchronize all the settings, select all of the files, right click, Added in the Rico Theta feature. The Lightroom will export in 16 bit TIFF format and import all these files into the Rico Theta feature. And now with the brand new Rico Theta feature, not only you can zoom out, have a better view, and uh, here with the help, you're gonna see this. I highly recommend you take a look at this user manual because there are something step by step tutorial on this, all of the settings. And you can see, you can master this very quickly, without my video actually. And this this document is very well written and it just constantly upgrades together with the plugin. For the Z1, the, up, the front lens is the one on the opposite side of the screen. And normally we would like to take the shot with this one. We are not in the middle of the frame because we are always in the center of the back lens. That is to say, you can see uh, with this lens, you can see I, I was not on the side and we can change to the yaw, to the 160 angles to move the people in the center of the 360 shot. When we are turned on the camera visibility reduction, you're gonna see less the camera body. But we, if we are taking the shot directly on the table, we better turn it off for the best stitching result because when we turn on this reduction option, sometimes the stitching quality will downgrade. And stitching method is this distance specified. For me, I always use automatic because for the, if you set it automatic, it's like a dynamic stitch. That would say this is, I want to set this one as a preset. Here in the preset menu, you can save current parameters as preset. You can hit save for number one, Okay, enter preset name. Okay, and for automatic settings, I will select preset to number two. We are just in the back of the back lens, so we just apply the preset to normal, and we are in the middle. So next time we were taking a shot on the back of the lens, it will automatically put yourself 
right in the center of equirectangular image. So this is a, one of the use cases of the preset because sometimes the front and back lens design is just not intuitive. It's just like conventional DLSR camera, a front lens is the one on the opposite side of the screen. But with 360 camera, you already take the shot facing that screen. So with preset, you can just uh, correct the front and back lens with only a single tap of button. Okay, here I will show you another result. For example, uh, I will rename to this one, add some more numbers. I will cheat the CDS teacher to make sure that the CDS teacher will not find the correlated DNG file and go back to as you can see in the tip file, just edit Cita Stitcher, edit original. And you're gonna see that because the Cita Stitcher cannot find the correspondent raw DNG file. So you can just manually select the DNG file because in that raw data, you're gonna have the best stitching parameters and the GPS, all the other data right inside the DNG file. Here I can manually select because I have already renamed because I have a cheat on the recall CDS feature. I can reconnect the tip file and the DNG file. Double click and open and apply these parameters to this feature and apply this preset, this one. Boom, that's, that's great, right? And click on OK. For those of the real estate photographers with this huge update, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. And for the Google Street View photographers, especially for the Toyo Fujita, the amazing photographer from Japan, I think uh, this update was designed for you. And I'm also very happy with that because I didn't imagine the Ricoh Sita developer will constantly upgrade to the Ricoh Sita feature because this is almost the second year of the Ricoh Sita Z1. So theoretically speaking, the Ricoh Sita Z1 Mark II is on the way, and I also feel very proud to have the Regal Sita Z1 with constant upgrade. So every one of the features so designed for the professional photographers will make their life a lot easier. And with the latest 2.20, it is a must-have upgrade for those of you who already have a Regal Sita Z1. And this plugin with the latest 2.20 will also make a Z1 more accessible, more user-friendly to a wide range of newbies or even potential customer for the Ricoh Sita Z1. Anyway, this is a huge update for the Ricoh Sita Z1 once again in November of 2020, even after almost two years of its initial release, it will definitely remark another milestone in the development of the Ricoh Sita Z1. I'm really happy with that and I just can't wait to share this great news with you. I want to express my thanks to Toyo Fujita, this amazing photographer. I think he was definitely the hero behind this update. I'm so glad that all of these amazing users will work, collaborate together to make the Ricoh Sita Z1 better and better again and again. So see you next time. Bye.